New York will create a database that will determine names of the owners of many limited responsibility companies in state. However, government thanks to a legislative change provided by Kathy Hochul's office, the public will not be able to access it. The Democratic governor signed 42 invoices late on Friday, and earlier this year, 43, which was part of an end of a year's pressure to clean the legislation desk approved by government deputies. Among invoices he signed, there was measure of LLC transparency law, which was precaution that would force useful owners when they created new company or when they changed structure of an existing company. He pushed precaution as way to find out who real host was. However, Hochul negotiated a change with the bill that would protect this database from the public. Hochul wrote in a note, The draft was very wide and required changes to ensure that the emergence of illegal activities, while balanced personal privacy, among the other invoices, Hochul moved late on Friday. Hochul vetoed a bill that effectively prohibits employers' non competitive agreements to prevent employees from working for an opponent after their employment. In addition, New York City in five districts in five districts, playground and historical site to ask for recycling boxes vetoed a bill and argued that city would bring an unfamiliar task. He approved a bill that would carry many elections at level of equal years at district and town. Level to sadness of Republicans. Hochul had previously a compromise that would allow the ban to resort to those who have salaries below 250000 However, bill sponsor Senator Sean Ryan said Hochul rejected the final offer of the Legislative Council and started to limit a 250000 but he was indexed to inflation and exempt all health workers. In the VTO message, Hochul said that it was trying to find a reconciliation that protects the middle class and low-wage workers, while allowing businesses to protect highly compensated skills. Hochul signed Hochul signed that the elections at many cities' district levels will be gradually removed in the coming years and eventually aligned them with federal elections said supporters were designed to increase voter participation. The Republicans deeply resisted measures by accusing regulation of regulation in order to benefit from traditionally heavy Democratic participation of New York during presidential election years. Stephen Aquario, general manager of Districts Association, which is a lobby for district governments, criticized Hochul for signed the law into law. At a time where we need to keep division our local communities at federal and state levels at federal and state levels, this bill makes local problems that affect daily lives of New York, which affects daily lives New York, he said. In afternoon of Friday, Hochul said measure was that measure was expanding ballot and encouraging a more inclusive democracy measure such as New York City elections or Reggio.